everyone, it's Tuesday night and I have a taste test and a shoe haul. Well, a footwear haul. It's not really a shoe haul, it's footwear. Um, yeah, they're all to be worn on the feet, but they're different kinds. One's a slipper, one's a flip-flop, and one's a sneaker. So, or a casual shoe kind of sneaker. And then the taste test, and they're all from Walmart. They're all the Children's Wonder Nation brand. And they're bought online. I think some might be in the store. Probably not the flip-flops, but the slippers are in the store, I think. And maybe the sneakers. But um, they're all the Walmart brand, dirt cheap, no real leather. But I, I'm a vegan, so I don't want I'm a vegetarian, so I don't wear leather shoes usually anyways. And um, then I'm going to taste test this wonderful, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Terry's Oranges. Let me read what they say. Terry's chocolate orange. This is a white one, white chocolate, which I've never had. I've only had the milk chocolate. They make a dark chocolate. They make a toffee. They make a popping that I ordered and it got canceled. I ordered this online from Walmart. Um, it got delivery from the store. I got some stuff delivered, fresh groceries. I tried it. It was pretty good. Um, the prices are great because I bought a lot of the great value, you know, the really low great value Walmart brand. So uh, these are expensive and they're made in, made in France, okay. Yeah, that's probably why they're expensive. And you, you smack them and you break them. So I've never tried the white chocolate and I love, I prefer white chocolate to regular chocolate. Um, if I had a choice, like if I went to a candy store and they had chocolate almond bark and they had white chocolate and milk chocolate, I would take the white chocolate. But I do love milk chocolate. Dark chocolate, eh, I don't really like it. I'll eat it if that's all. Like if someone offers me a piece of a dark chocolate candy bar or whatever, I'll take it usually, but it's not my favorite. I love milk chocolate. And then these are uh, great value street corn um, this is a trail mix. These great value trail mixes, I'm really getting into. This is like my fourth one. And some of them are sweet and some are savory. And one I just tried, I didn't do a taste test on it. I meant to, but it had, not only was it salty kind of, but it also had butter toffee peanuts in it, which is sweet. So it was really unusual. I think it was the Cajun mix. And then this one is street corn and it does, I'll read what it has. These are Temu reading glasses, by the way, and I do have my ring light on. Maybe I'll dim it a little bit. Oops, I just changed the kind of light. Okay. Oh, that's much better. Maybe I had it too bright before. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep it on. That's okay. I can. It's low. It's very low, but it does reflect these glasses because my prescription ones that are reading glasses have anti glare, and these don't. So yeah, these are Temu. So well, anyways, I have the I have the ring light, so the ring light's gonna reflect in them too. So this has got um, the street corn, great value. This is the Walmart brand. It was really cheap. Well, it's not really cheap, but look how huge it is. It's 18 ounces. Okay, street corn. With street corn seasoned peanuts, roasted salted corn kernels, which is like the um, the corn nuts, which I'm not real big on anymore. I have had them recently, but I loved them as a kid. Um, street corn seasoned corn sticks. I'm not real big on like corn chips. Chili crackers, street corn seasoned corn chips, and roasted unsalted pepitas. Okay, I think those are pumpkin seeds. Because uh, when I go to um, that place I went to on Thanksgiving where I did the buffet, uh, oh, what was it, like two weeks ago on Thanksgiving, um, they have a pepita salad. It's, it's called their Mexican Caesar salad. And they made one up for me there, but it's also on the regular menu. And they put pepitas in it and the dressing. I think it's called cilantro pepita dressing. I'm not sure. But it's a famous dressing. You can buy it at the store. It's like El Torito. It's the green dressing. That's their famous dressing. At least I've seen it at like my regular supermarket, even though El, Tor El Torito is a chain here, at least in Southern California. I don't know how national or Northern or other areas it is. So let's do the, um, let's do the footwear haul first. 
Okay, these are flip-flops and they were $5. What do they say on them price? I, I bought them online in the in the winter, $4.48. Okay, they were less. $4.48, they weren't on sale. Um, this is their, their size four or five. I got them for my mom because they also make a six. And the six would, the six, I wear a five in boys, but um, like if I got the six, it might too, be too big, but this is a four to five, so it might be too small. My mom is a size six woman's, so she can wear a four. And I did give her some cute boy flip-flops before, and she liked them. They didn't fit me, and she liked them. So it's just cute. It has a cute print, and I love this color. And um, so I'm going to give these to my mom. These aren't for me. Um, I should have said it's a shoe haul, but not all for me. <laughs> I'll show the one for me in a minute. This is, uh, don't watch mom. Oh, I forgot to tell her not to watch. This is one of her holiday gifts. So, and then uh, these are for my mom. If they don't fit her, I'll take them. They're a size four or five, just like that, where I think they made a six too. These are taco slippers. And adults were buying them, women were buying them because they do make them up until a size six, which is like a eight women's. And um, these are boys, they have burger ones too, and they weren't expensive. Let's see what the price tag says. That's probably what I paid. $12.99, okay, or it's either $12.99 or $12.98. Okay, that's probably what I paid. It has grippers, so your, um, your hand goes in like this, your foot. So if they're too big for her, she doesn't like them, I'll take them. I just thought they were really cute for the holidays. And then these are mine. These are Wonder Nation 5, and the price on them is, Wonder Nation is the Walmart brand, $22.98 memory foam, just like these other shoes of theirs. I have that on memory foam that I got like six months ago that I, I've, I've shown on here and I love. These were like, I think like $15 or less. It, it, I didn't pay the full price. And they've got really cool laces. They're a little bit of a check on them. And they're not real leather. I wouldn't wear them if they were real leather. And they've got this on the back, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I haven't even tried them on yet, but I think they do make a five and a half. I have to return them. I'll return them to the Walmart store. I won't take them. I won't ship them. And see, they're still attached and I haven't tried them on. Okay, so those are my three Walmart shoe uh footwear hauls now let me get a drink okay and these shorts do not go with this top i was wearing different pants these are these are sleep shorts they're kind of cute they've got they've got a stripe kind of cute they're navy okay so let's try the street corn first because I want, I really want the chocolate, <laughs> the white chocolate. Okay. Tastes good. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Let's see what this cracker is. Now these have like, the other ones have had um, four grams of protein, five grams of protein. Let me see, for a, one serving is a quarter cup. Five grams, okay. Most of them that are salty or savory um, have five grams of protein, which is pretty much equal to nuts. It does have nuts in it. I like it. It's a little too corny for me. Like, um, you know the cereals, they have corn checks, wheat checks, rice checks. The corn checks, yeah, I never really liked them that much. I mean, I've tried all of them, all the checks. I think I like the wheat checks and the, maybe I do, no, I don't like the corn checks. Um, there's a nut. This is something like really crispy and good. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on a plate. Okay, I just happen to have a plate here. Here's what it looks like. It's 
a clean plate for my new plate set. That's very good. I get that a 10 and I'm pretty picky on snacks. Okay, so here's the white chocolate orange from Terry's. And let's give this a try. I haven't, opened, I haven't had one of these. And the last ones I had were milk chocolate orange. I got my mom a dark chocolate orange. It's on the way. I haven't been ordered yet. But um, when you order from Walmart, sometimes they send it in like five boxes and it comes on like three different days. One like $35 order. It's crazy. They'll send you one thing from the store. If it, you order shipping, but one will come right from the store, delivered directly from the store. A few things will a few things will come on one day in one box and another day and it's, it's kind of a pain but the prices are really good the same as in the stores I believe so okay it's a Terry's orange these are famous and they only really sell them around the holidays unless you want to buy them online probably but the stores this is from the Walmart it might this one might be from the store okay here's what it looks like this is a white chocolate that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll take a picture with this. Let's see. Now let's open it. Oh. Okay, and the sections, it smells like oranges. The sections look like oranges. They have little ripples in them. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. Let's try one. Delicious. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I can't tell whether I like this or the milk chocolate orange ones. But this is bad. It's a good thing I only bought one. <laughs> I bought one of each. And one's a gift. Um, there was a toffee one I might order if it doesn't sell out by Christmas. Because I usually place a Walmart order like every couple of weeks. Walmart store order, I mean, um, shipping order, you know, for like shelf stable stuff and um, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, mm -hmm. very good, very addicting. <laughs> so, I've got a few things in the future <coughs> to taste test. This is um, either vegetarian. <coughs> Hold on. Thank you. Sorry about that. This is uh, Progresso chickpea and noodle, 17 grams of protein. It's either vegan or vegetarian. And that's a lot of protein for the whole can. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a taste test on that. I've never had a soup with that much protein in it that doesn't have meat. Um, where are the reading glasses? I'm, I'm using different ones now. I can't find the original reading glasses I was using. Okay. Um, let's see if this is vegan or vegetarian. Egg, soy, and wheat. No, it's vegetarian. It has egg in it. Okay. So, vegetarian. I'm going to test this. And who... Okay, everybody likes, um, except me, because... They don't make the cheese ravioli any, raviolis anymore, but Chef Boyardee uh, ravioli in a can, a lot of people like it. And there's a lot of YouTube videos of people eating it, like cold and how many they can eat at one time. <laughs> and I liked it too, you know, but I like the cheese one. They discontinued that. Now that I'm a vegetarian, I won't eat the meat one. I did like the meat one before, but Chef Boyardee, who knew? I was looking online at Chef Boyardee. They make a pasta in butter sauce and it's vegetarian. Doesn't have a lot of protein, but I'm gonna try it. It was dirt cheap. Probably the same price as the um, ravioli, maybe a little more. Okay, one can is 360 calories and only eight grams of protein. So this will be something I might not finish, but just to try it, that's really weird. I'm really unusual, so I will. So what do we think of this lighting, folks? Let's see. That's the lighting I like, the white light. Okay, that took it down. I can also put it up a little bit. It's on stilts. 
See, I can raise it up. Here's the light. Now it's not going to stand. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, folks. And that's it. And um, take care. Have a good night. If you're what uh, if you're watching this, um, it's I'm, this is going to be uploaded um, Tuesday night. But if you're watching this Wednesday morning, good morning. See you later. Bye.